to think of a locally relevant framework for building social networks or community building. Of course, that thread went for a long time. Now we've been working on the background. Now we have a product, technical product, which is based on social technology. The bottom line was at the core or the kernel is the Sinhala Tamil languages. Rather than trying to implement Tamil Sinhala languages on a software which we borrow or framework we borrow, so you build the tech Sinhala and Tamil languages, their requirements, their issues, constraints into the system and build the system around it. So it's a different approach. So some, some sort of a social technology development success that we have had. And through the knowledge sharing and collaboration, many other projects were created through that. And a lot of knowledge was created voluntarily, which is not seem possible. For example, uh, Singhala Bloggers Union, I see somebody's explaining how the uh, mobile phone could be used with GPS and you know how to connect all these things. In a simple Singhala language or for a for, uh, normal person to understand. That is a voluntary knowledge creation, which is otherwise not possible. So then the innovation. You cannot innovate single-handed because you need different levels of uh, 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 different levels of how do I go back? Right mouse button? Okay. You have the old version features. Okay. Right. So, okay, this has to go to previous. Okay. So, collaborative innovation, which is one of the projects you all may know, uh, Silpa Saira was produced and discussed at the Singhala Unicode group and Singhala Bloggers Union, which, is, which introduced a lot of blogging and a lot of expression. Uh, a lot of uh, publishing of content happened through Singhala Bloggers Union, which is also uh, an outcome of the community building. So the outcome can be another community. So that's the uh, uh, beauty of uh, this community building. So what are the learned lessons? So I refer back to uh, President Secretary uh, Mr. Alit Tirasunga's speech, where um, he spoke of uh, culture and values. So we found culture has a significant impact. But of course, it, to say there is no single culture, it's a mixed culture which prevails or and exists in online communities which you have to accept. You cannot restrict. And, and also my friend was telling about the uh, building trust and important, which I completely agree because in the long run, and I, my daughter's friend has a Facebook profile for her dog and cat. Fair enough. She, she thinks they are living things and they should have profiles. So that's what my daughter's and have, uh, my, not my daughter's friend thinks. But of course, we are looking at national development. We have focuses which are linked with social, economic, and political um, aspects of the development. So I think trust is an important thing. The, one of the problem is where to draw the line between privacy and the trust and authentication, which we are still trying to find an answer. But of course, when it comes to commerce, definitely we agree some sort of authentication has to be there. Mobile phone number, authentication is one good way. So social technology leadership. Are you going to create sociologist technologies? or technologists, sociologists, or get the sociologists to work with technology, I don't know. But I think it's easy to create technologist sociologists, which uh, we have examples and experiences. So social technology leadership is very important in community development, which aimed at national development. So community building for, for fun, for dating, for that, that's different angle. But when you focus on national development, you're looking at the people on the bottom of pyramid, grassroots. So, so you need social technology leadership, which is the key. And community collaborator solution. You cannot give solutions if the community is not collaborating. They're not supporting. They should be giving feedback and support uh, for you to take the community building further. OK, so limitations. One of the biggest problems is there are no organization structures. 
Uh, single Unicode group is a single Unicode group. Lanka Linux user group is Lanka Linux user group. So, and of course, therefore, it's informal. So no support mechanisms. Strangani should be looking at these kind of informal mechanisms to bring them through e-society or something to support these kind of activities. Um, and sustainability is a matter. So these are the things we have to look at and the future. So how do you aim national union? You have to find out what are the national priorities. Say, 50% of all level students are failing maths. That's a national issue where ICT can help. Rural people are not sell their products for the best price, technology and national community building an issue, just not technology. So, so you have to look at aiming national uh, issues and focuses, which are national, regional, and local. And open and free tools, the tools and, uh, which has to be open, not only open tools, but people have to be open. The people, their purposes, courses, and all. And inspiration for interactions, not just leave the members around. And social technology leadership development is there. So one of the ideas is to get young people train them to become social technology leaders, not just web designer, but with a social angle that he understand the national requirements and development so that the community building can be a um, really good strategy for taking the national development, uh, handling national development digitally and getting the support and uh, other activities uh, supported by people getting people involved. So this is, this is my presentation. Thanks, I hope I did well after about a year. I haven't spoken in public. So thanks. Any? Okay, uh, well, that's a very, it has a very long answer and a very short answer. Short answer is if you go to Google, Rural Development Sri Lanka, and you will find so many projects. For example, for me, I think uh, for your next presentation, you should be able to hear from Chitrangani. A lot of projects from East Sri Lanka, East Society. Universities have done local language uh, translations of applications. We have done Shilpa Saira, which is a rural education development uh, through Nanasala and schools. And there are many projects for agriculture and all. But of course, uh, I understand your question. It's a lot of things have not been connected to the public. I think next space is more, rather than development, uh, getting the people involved with the already developed things and scaling up, then you will get to know. Basically, there are a lot of projects. Of course, if you contact me. Any specific area? Of course, it's a, it's a multi-stakeholder role. Government only cannot give the money sometimes, sometimes give guidelines, create infrastructure, but the people have to run it. That's how the ICT-based rural development works. Uh, because see, the, 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 it, it happens in the bottom of the pyramid. So you, it has to be the people from, uh, has to do. So government is one of the major contributors, but also universities who are researchers, then the private sector. It's a, it's a multi-stakeholder partnership process. 